more details emerge, police are again warning the public to stay indoors and are reminding everyone that it is dangerous to leave the designated safe zones. Hospitals are no longer open to the public, and if you are having an emergency, please dial 911 and wait for an ambulance. With the current situation, wait times can be as long as 12 hours, so the public is being asked to only call in an extreme emergency. Hospital staff are still on duty, and in some circumstances are making home visits, which can be arranged by calling your local public health care line. Once more, police are asking the public to stay at home. The death toll continues to rise as infection takes hold in larger city centers. The number of infections are now estimated to be over 3 million in Canada alone, with figures putting it as many as 700 million worldwide. This is John Esther, reporting live from the Army Safe House on Elizabeth Avenue. Currently we are safe and secure here. There is clean water and food. The Army is currently setting up a militia and is looking for volunteers, especially anyone with firearms training of any kind. Buses will soon be departing to drop off supplies to those in need, as well as collect anyone who would like to volunteer. If so, please call immediately at... I'm joined by Dr. Michael Kenny, Infectious Disease Specialist. Dr. Kinney, do you see any hope or cure or, uh, or way out of this situation? The situation feels apocalyptic. I have a colleague at the World Health Organization who said they're working on a vaccine, but resources are scarce. The army is holding on the best they can, but people are scared. I'm scared. World Health Organization have just released a statement saying that seven out of the nine labs that have been working on a vaccine have been overrun and all contact has been lost. Top scientists are still working hard, but the virus mutates so quickly that creating a vaccine against it has proven nearly impossible. As well, with an R-value in the double digits, containment is now impossible. The conditions in these houses are quickly deteriorating. I mean, everyone, everyone here, we understand, we, we, but we're scared and hungry. The showers are blocked all the time. Our clothes are dirty. There's just no way to live. This is John Esther reporting live in an Army safe house on Elizabeth Avenue. Conditions here are quickly deteriorating. We are getting low on food and fresh water. Our power has been cutting off and uh, in and out. Uh, so I'm using battery backup, so we'll be staying online as long as possible. We're using the Army satellite here to continue the broadcast as radio towers are no longer on the grid. Yeah, if you're safe and have supplies, then please stay where you are. I'm now getting a statement that... I'm now getting a statement from the, the World Health Organization. The last working lab has been overrun. There is no vaccine coming. They have released some information to try and keep everyone left safe. Apparently the infected have a heightened sense of hearing and smell. If you have any bloody bandages, burn them. If you are near anything that had fresh blood spilled in any way, move on. I'm actually being flagged by the captain of the militia that we're going to code black. There's a horde heading our way, and we need to be completely silent. Uh, I'm hearing gunfire now. Oh no. Oh no. This is, this is going to attract every infected for kilometers. If you can, this might be the best chance to run. Don't let us die in vain. Good luck. Godspeed. John Esther, reporting from what was the safest place in St. John's. This is it for us, folks. 
it's here. It's over.